In our previous class, we had seen how to add the logo and the header and also we had seen how to add the date time with the help of accessibility function and also with the help of MS Word feature. So when we viewed the PDF output, it was looking something like this. Now if you closely observe this PDF output or the RTF template response, so the user might get confused looking at this page like there is the header information and the lines again one header information starts and then the line information so what if the user asks you just display the line information for a specific header in a single page here in this page we are getting the details for a couple of purchase orders that is this one as well as this one now we will display only one header information and their line information in a single page Suppose if there is only less data which can accommodate in a page, we will split the page and make this second purchase order information to come in next page. So we will see this how we can achieve. In order to achieve this use case, just locate where is your for each on the G1 is ending that is over here and G1. So here we have to split the line before it goes for the next iteration so what we can do is we are having a function that is to break the line that is this one split by page break now we are going to copy and paste it over here click on ok that is this for each end we have to add not over here so if we add over here then per page there will be only one table and one line item suppose if there are five line items then each page will have one line item and its header that is a table so we have to make sure we put in a right place now let me just save this and click on pdf now here if you see we are having in one page only one header information that is purchase order coming to the next page here we are having second purchase order information here we are having third fourth so and so forth things so like this we can create a rtf template that is to break the line if we are showing the master detail kind of data in the output of the bip report so here we are splitting based on the purchase order and making sure that each page is having data of only a single purchase order.